Okay, let's start our webinar. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Dima Yaprinsev, and I'm senior pre-sales engineer here at Starwind. At this session, we will discuss what Veeam One report is, and we will see how it can be used. Our discussion is going to be with uh, the real report. So, that is our agenda. Uh, we'll talk about the Veeam One report and its configuration. We'll see the disks usage and report analysis. And don't forget that I'm glad to answer all of your questions at the end of this webinar. So, what is Veeam One report? It is a very uh, useful tool, which, is hel which helps you to get more familiar with your system, its configuration, uh, of course, resource, uh, resource utilization, and help you to optimize all the stuff you have. Also, Vim1 report allows you not to make the mistakes if you want to upgrade your existing system, um, you can see the current resource utilization and draw the conclusion in the right way. So let's get to the um, let's get to the the Vim One report. So as you can see, here is our VMware infrastructure. It is our vCenter. It is our production cluster with all our VMs. I've installed the um, Veeam One report and connected to our vCenter. So let's go to health state monitoring. Um, this tool gives you an ability to get detailed monitoring. As you can see from the summary tab, we're able to see collected state of hosts, data stores, and virtual machines state. As you can see, we have a few warnings here. And we, if, if we click on the uh, VM alarm, we can see whole description of the alarm. As you can see, here is the amount of free space is less than 1.1% and below the free shield with 5% and current disk space is uh, less than gigabyte. Uh, we can see here what is causing uh, knowledge and what is causing the issue. Um, operation system free disk space value has dropped below the configured free shelf. Uh, and we can see the resolution. We need to increase the disk space and extend the cast operation system volume or free some uh, drive space. As you can see, it is it is simple as as it is as it should be. Okay, so uh, let's go back to our vCenter and let's proceed with the VM step. As you can see, uh, as you can see, we have all the VMs all the production VMs we're running right now with all its status hosts and also this uh, tool uh, gives you the uh, gives you an ability to get uh, I'm sorry it gives you a brief overview of the VMs along with provision si provision provision space uh, used space of the virtual machines uh, CPU usage, um, of course, memory usage, and a lot of other information uh, along with uh, virtual uh, CPUs uh, assigned to these virtual machines. 
and etc. So you can easily sort the VMs as you all may see. Uh, you can easily sort the VMs by CPU, storage, or any other option to optimize the compute power utilization. So let's click, I don't know, on some virtual machine. It should be, it should be here. Um, you can see the, um, you can see a uh, great uh, dashboard with CPU usage in the summary tab, memory usage, and cast disk uh, space usage. So, let's get back again to our um, vCenter. Here we have overall tab with the CPU, memory, uh, data store usage, but let's proceed with each one um, separately. Um, the CPU utilization, you can, uh, you can monitor your CPU utilization over uh, past year, month, week, hour, anyway. Um, also the dashboard with the memory allocation as you can see it over here you can get more understanding uh, do you need more or maybe you need to increase scale up the hardware with the uh, RAM as you can see we're utilizing from 60 to 80 to 90 percent of our RAM and also the data store IOPS. As you can see, it is the same chart with the number of IOPS and of course with the period of the. So as you can see, uh, we're using up to 6,000 IOPS, so it can be when you're uh, choosing the hardware, it can be a um, hybrid solution. With the 6000 uh, IOPS, it can be uh, a little bit SSDs with uh, a lot of um, hard drives. But don't forget when you're creating the hybrid system, um, don't forget about the SSDs that uh, the overall the SSDs amount of SSD drives must be about 30% of overall uh, data stores. So if we're talking about 100 terabytes, 30 terabytes of SSDs is a must in such configuration. So uh, also Veeam One report includes the back backup reports in attractive dashboards. Unfortunately, we faced the uh, power outage, so right now I'm unable to show these dashboard, dashboards. Anyway, today, today we saw a lot of capabilities with help of Veeam One report. Obviously, your business will only um, will only benefit with all these reports, monitoring and alarm capabilities. You can easily troubleshoot the issues even before the problem will affect the overall production environment. Vim1 report can easily measure the future system requirements and help you to choose hardware without any concerns, as you all may see. Do you have any other questions? Oh, here is the nice question. Uh, what is the difference in between the DPAC report and Vim? As we all may know that, that the Vim, Vim has a free and paid version, so why do we need to pay for Vim? Mm, DPACs give you only the understanding of your existing infrastructure with the main goal 
only choose the, new, the right new hardware. Vim also gives you, with, with this feature, also gives you the ability to monitor your system day by day to avoid any issues with your uh, existing product environment. So, I guess it's a nice tool to, to pay for it. So, and guys, other questions? Do not hesitate to ask any other questions. And the question about the price for this tool. Uh, guys, you can you can simply connect the Veeam sales, uh, and they will be glad to provide you with the list price. But uh, guys, don't forget about the fully functional trial license, which uh, allows you to see all the Veeam One report features and get the um, and get the the whole features in your hands. Um, another question, uh, functionality from free license versus paid versions. We don't have uh, all the alarms in the free version. We don't have dashboards in the free, um, free version. Um, Really, guys, if you if you like this, uh, if you like this tool, you can just simply get the trial license. Uh, I don't know in a few minutes, and um, and get all the features in your hands. So, so okay, guys, it was a quick tap room, and see you on another. Tap rooms. Goodbye, bye. Goodbye, guys.